Jujutsu Kaisen Zero just started airing in theaters, and I was lucky enough to be one of the first few people to get some fire seats. So today, I want to give you guys my raw, unedited thoughts and reviews, spoiler free of course, on Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. So if you're interested in that, you should stick around. Howdy, I'm Palpers, and let's talk about Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Hi! Hi! That movie, okay, I understand. I have a lot of recency bias. I watched this movie literally less than 24 hours ago. It's still fresh in my brain. I'm still feeling the goosebumps. Very good, very good movie. But what I loved particularly about this movie is that it didn't revolve around the main cast. It revolves around a character that we're shown a lot in the Jujutsu Kaisen anime, which is Yuta, but we don't really get to see. And this just shows us his origin on how he got to Jujutsu High, why he's considered one of the most powerful, what his origin is. And I'm so glad we got to see this instead of like it being like a backstory in a regular episode. The animation, peak. The storytelling, peak. Characters, peak. Bro, I'm so glad we got to see my boy Toge in action. We got to see Maki going crazy. And side note on Maki, bro, they had it looking too good in that movie. Like, I was like, I was like, yo, ain't she like 14 in this? Like, I was like, yo, like, no. If you watch that, watch that movie and let me know if they draw Maki a, a little too good. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. Just watch it. But anyway, we got to see my boy Panda go off. We got to see my boy Gojo go off a little bit. Like, bro, when I tell you, bro, like, I was hyped seeing some of the characters from the anime, like, reappear. I'm like, yo, that's the homie. That's the homie. Like, I was hyped for it. And also, what I really loved about this movie is that it really showed the relationship between Ghetto and Gojo. How things started between them, like, where things diverse. Like, Gojo's thought process on things. Ghetto's goal and plan. Because we didn't know what Ghetto's plan was in the anime we, we just didn't know but in the movie it gets brought to light on what he wanted to do and what his motives were and i want to spoil what they were because obviously spoiler free review i'm not going to give you guys anything anything too crazy but just know some of them fights fire fire the movie starts off he it actually gives you goosebumps um there's some traumatic moments in the movie you get to see some some of your favorite characters pop off you get to see some so so some bone chilling moments bone chilling bro watch this movie highly recommend it um yuta is an amazing mc if i were to compare him to itadori would i prefer him over itadori maybe just a little bit but overall i'm so glad we, we got this movie i'm glad it was a movie and not like you know like a flashback because i mean it probably still would have been good but not as good as the movie made it seem to be the animation was amazing the the final fight was very good very good the emotions they was high bro you know just just do yourself a favor watch this movie and there's really isn't much else i can say without spoiling and also also before you click off this video um there are ending credit scenes so stay for that like there are ending credit scenes so you have to sit bro them ending credits lasted like five minutes like it was like i was like so this is my spoiler free thoughts and review on jujutsu kaisen zero but if you haven't watched it go watch it video's over hope you guys enjoyed and like i always say i am just a weeb so what do i know deuce